So don't go thinking, I'm going to tell you what to do in your field of expertise. That's not my business. That's yours. But you tell me what to do, then I can do it in the political world. Well, tonight, I've brought people here from, with, with different skills and different backgrounds and with the intent of having a, um, buying a 10 acre of land in Derby that's been zoned from rural to urban and Charles being an uh, architect builder and his wife being an interior decorator. We we're going to build the houses in stages and those houses are going to be marketed to Aboriginal people. And because we're also part of a group training scheme, we want to develop and help people in communities to actually be trained so then they can train, we want to be able to train the trainer to go out there. We'll have, we'll have local training in, a, in an organisation where we can build the pods or we can build the uh, flat packs and we can ship them to remote parts of Australia where uh, communities can get the benefit from all of this. If we're going to make a difference in any of those other areas, health, education, you know, justice system, people kind of need a solid, stable environment to start with. If you're going to get access to services from different government departments, you know, you need to be somewhere solid and stable. So that's what took my interest into housing, as well as all the things around potential around employment training and those sorts of things, which is obviously because of my background of being a teacher. We all in Australia deserve to, to live in, in decent housing, but not only that, is to be able to give employment opportunities, training, so it then actually creates, um, stops, uh, how can I say, um, gives people a drive to earn money and to be able to support their families in, in a positive way. But um, in education, for example, it was very hard to support families when they were transient all the time. And so I went into housing and I particularly went into the um, area of um, Aboriginal home ownership and I um, put together a pilot program for Department of Housing in Kununurra for that. Um, and that was very successful. We had a wraparound support program in it and, um, because also I saw a whole lot of different government departments and mining companies and um, organisations saying we'll employ Aboriginal people, we'll do this, we'll do that, but they didn't think of actually how that impacted on people, particularly if they're going out of social housing into, so they're now not, not meeting the thresholds of um, living in uh, social housing um, and they've got a job that pays them well but they've got nowhere to live. We've got this a 10,000 first homeowners grant and there's a 13,000 establishment grant from IBA. As well as that the people will be given opportunity to have their families work on the house, not you know not anybody working on a house from different families but everybody from one family working on a house so that any arguments it doesn't you know, hold up the building program. People having lots of money and a job doesn't mean the end of their problems if you don't think of all the things that can impact on them. And so that's what took my interest in housing. Um, and it's, you know, um, I think it's, it's that core stability thing and people being able to set goals and aim for things and work towards them. And um, I think, you know, whatever that house might be, it can, it can be different for different Aboriginal people. It can look different in communities but um, it stabilises that family because obviously over the years um, with Australia's history, a lot of, many Aboriginal people have been displaced. The overall vision is to get away from welfare housing and social housing into home ownership in, in the true sense of the word and, and with the education going with it so that uh, people will start developing pride and and value their home and look after their home. They need to be a key part of that whole building, training, thinking process around what the housing situation they want to have for their community. <laughs> Two happy champions, yeah. <laughs>